what is going on guys quality xa here today and today we're going to be talking about the destiny 2 development map yes i know i'm a little bit late to this but i did actually take a week off so i'm hopefully focusing back on that destiny grind so if you do want to help me out please smash a like on this video comment in that comment section below what new update you're looking forward to most now Let's get right into this. So first off, we have the 1.12 update, which has actually been deployed and we got starting in January. So that was the Masterworks update. So for this, we got Armor Masterworks. We got Raid Reward Improvements, Prometheus Lens Buff, Flashpoint Milestone Fix, Lost and Found Notifications, Exotics in Heroic Strikes, Mercury Challenges on Adventures, Fix the Clan Engrams from the Nightfall, Challenges in Quick Play, Dismantle Timer for Masterwork Cores and the Ikora Waypoint Fix. So I was really, really pleased with update 1.12. I don't know about you guys, but it's just been really, really cool indeed. I've really enjoyed playing Iron Banner especially, as well as some of the other content in the game. For some weird reason, going back to the raid to go and grab them rewards, it's just been very enticing for me. And I felt like this update has personally been one of the better ones. Moving on though, for the next one, we have 1.13, which is for Strikes and Social. This is coming out February the 27th. And it says you have a nightfall scoring and high score tracking. So this is going to be a new feature in which you actually get nightfall scoring. It did actually happen in Destiny 1 towards the end of it, but they're actually taking the timer out of nightfalls from what I know. We're also getting emblem and aura rework. So a really cool feature, they're reworking all of the emblems, trying to make more counter emblems from what I know, as well as that changing the auras in which you actually get from Prestige Nightfalls, playing Trials of Osiris and also the Prestige Raid. There's also fire team members on the destination map, going to be a really helpful feature to find you where your teammates are on the map. You've also got a PC public text chat, which should be really cool for these people who do not have microphones on the PC. There's exotic repetition reduction, which again explains itself. Do you want repeat exotics? No, you want new stuff. They're actually um, reducing the chance in which you can actually get a duplicate exotic. We've also got companion mod and shader interactions. Not too sure what that could be. As well as that companion vendor viewing could possibly be on the app actually thinking about it. And then last but not least, we've got Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards. Now, absolutely incredible there. Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards, that's definitely going to entice me to play the Nightfall. And this is the type of stuff what they need to do. There is a possible delay on that. They do state at the bottom saying these features are stretch goals that have a chance to slip to a later release. But regardless, it's an absolutely phenomenal system and I really do hope that they actually include Nightfall Strike unique rewards as soon as possible because it just gives me a reason to jump on and do Nightfall Strike. Moving on to the 1.14 update, the Sandbox and Crucible, coming out March the 27th. So we have Weapon slash Ability Sandbox changes, Heroic Strike modifiers, something that everyone has been dying for, something to add a little bit of spice and a little bit of fun to Heroic Strikes, Iron Banner 6v6 is finally returning. 6v6 game modes, I wasn't the biggest of fan in Destiny 1, but when you do play Destiny 2 on a huge map where it is 4v4, you sort of miss 6v6 sometimes, you miss that hectic game mode, but um, yeah, really cannot wait for that. Also got a weekly Crucible playlist, including Mayhem. Yes, it's returning. And a weekly Crucible playlist is going to be really cool. I'm hoping we see the return of some old classic game modes. We've also got Crucible Ammo and Gameplay Tuning. Nightfall Challenge cards, not too sure what they could actually be. Hopefully some way of unlocking new gear or challenging ourselves to unlock exclusive stuff. We've also got Crucible Quitter Penalties. That's kind of unfortunate because I know some people do quit when they get put against hard opponents. Just have to see how that actually works. We've got Repeat Crucible Map and Strike Protection. Now this is unbelievable guys. I have actually got footage of this somewhere where I actually was searching for a strike and I didn't want to uh, get the same gameplay as what I had yesterday. I kid you not, I got put on the inverted spire 18 times in a row, literally, and I settled with crucible gameplay at the end of it, even though I wanted strike gameplay. Unbelievable. Um, and then last but not least, we've got exotic weapon and armor sandbox changes. 
So hopefully there is a load of changes to the uh, um, exotic weapons and armor, making us want to use different stuff and uh, push some weapons around, cha make some changes, change the meta of the game. Really, really awesome. And then last but not least, coming in at Season 3, we have the 1.2.0 update, a new season of content, and that is coming in May. So for that, we have the Eater of Worlds Prestige Mode, the Seasonal Crucible Rankings, Private Matches, Vault Space Increase, which is extremely needed. We have the Multi Emote, where you can actually use four emotes on your D-pad, Exotic Masterworks, which again, a really cool feature and that's definitely going to make me want to grind more. Seasonal Vendor Progression, that's going to be really cool. A feature in which you can actually level up your vendor and they give you higher rewards the more you level them up. Faction Rally Improvements, can't wait to see what they can actually change around. And then last but not least, we have the Mod System Improvements. Now they have improved the Mod System quite a bit with this update especially with the raid mods which have actually been implemented, but I cannot wait to see what they do in Season 3 for them. We do also know that in Season 3 there is going to be the release of the second DLC. Christopher Barrett tweeted out, Expansion 2 will launch in May alongside Season 3. That wasn't clear from today's development roadmap. So very helpful indeed. And I personally like this. When developers usually push push stuff back, it means that they're polishing it off. It means that they're working on it. So hopefully we will see some more content to what we expected and more content than what was in Curse of Osiris because it was very lackluster to my expectations. But yes, guys, please let me know what your favorite features were in that comment section below. Really excited for the prestige mode for Eater of Worlds, as well as private matches. There's just a load of stuff that I could name off of here, but I want to hear your comments in that comment section below. But as always, smash that like button. Peace out, and I hope you enjoyed.